Hello and welcome back to Just Lucky. Today we're going to be working more on setting up some fantastic oil refinery stuff. I was just over here looking at when we can get our, um, what's it called? Oil field generators. These. We have kind of a lot to do. To be able to get these we need to build computers. So we need to be able to unlock this one. Which to do this, we need a little bit of plastic and rubber, which we can probably accomplish today and probably get this unlocked so we can start making modular frames and figure out how to make computers. So I think that'll be good. And I guess that's our goal for today is to get that unlocked and maybe work on that a little bit. So we're going to head back over there and start getting things set up. Also, to be honest, I don't know why I didn't think about taking a tractor yesterday when I was trying to uh, get over to the islands quite a few times. Because they're so much safer, and like, I don't know, it's kind of faster than just running. Running is quite slow. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just didn't think about it, I guess. I kind of forget they exist sometimes. Ow. It's kind of crazy how foggy it is. Like, we can't even see our stuff yet. Wait, is that it right there? I can't tell. No, that's not it. Uh, yeah, I can't even see it yet. That's kind of crazy to me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Got him. I guess we're just gonna have to replace this really fast. No big problem, I guess. Um, throw this coal back in there. Wow, it took a lot of coal to get here. That's fine. We are almost there. Hopefully we can drive through this. Oh yeah, we can. Okay, it's not even a problem. So I guess our goal here, we do have, mm, I wouldn't say really limited uh, power. I'm not sure how much, whoa. I'm not sure how much power we have like left to play with and I'm not sure how much refineries end up using. I guess we can just go ahead and park here. Why is this one in the water like this? So last video we set up this one, which is making 120 crude oil per second. Per minute, not per second. That's insane. Oh, I see. If it, if it fills up with fuel, we don't have anywhere to put the fuel. If it fills up with fuel, it stops producing the other thing, too. Hmm, so we have to figure out where to put the fuel. Ten per minute. Oh, that's very little. Okay, uh, can we get to the other side of this, please? I mean, it's fuel residue, right? That's what it is. Heavy oil residue, not fuel. I keep calling it fuel. I know it's not fuel. You turn it into fuel. So let's figure this out. This one's not hooked up, so let's look at the recipes in this one. Fuel. But we don't have tanks. So we just need... We don't have anywhere to put this fuel, which could be an issue. Hmm. I think we only have like water storage or something. I don't think we have like fuel tanks. Power storage. Well, I thought we had like a liquid storage. Fluid buffer. 
Does this work with any fluid? 400 cubic meters isn't a lot, but this is only 10 each minute. Okay, let's get rid of this one for now. And let's expand over here. Because for science, I mean, not for science, for now, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and make a bunch of tanks so we can keep making plastic and rubber. And I know it's only a temporary solution, but if it works, it works. So let's go ahead and try it out. We could just put like rows and rows of these. Let's put the first one like here for science. to this or does that have to go out honestly that looks fine will this fill up with oil oh it does okay good not oil oil residue so I think for now we just save it and put it all here And our a massive storage unit kind of deal here. played with uh like liquids in this game for so long since I made our coal generator so this should be able to hold a lot so I guess what we do now is we just kind of line this up here looks lined up to me that's not lined up actually. I don't understand why there's not a grid for the junctions. It's very strange. Dang it, I did it again. I just need to be back a little more like this. There we go. I don't know why it's so difficult to place these. Because this is only 10 per minute. These can move a lot, right? Uh, max flow rate 300 per minute. Easy. actually heal really fast just for the sake of healing so if anything happens that looks way too far out yeah it is there we go
So this should be starting to fill up these, which should barely be full. Oh, but they did have 50 each, which is like 200. Okay, so four is running off that one, making 120. I think for now, what we should do is kind of double down on this design. One, two, three, four, five. And then once we double down on this uh, design, we should uh, move all of the stuff back over here. Like we'll put a junction pipe right here. Let's go ahead and place all of these platforms and just make it the same size as the other one, the other side, for now. I imagine this is going to be a huge project, but for now we're going to, we're going to try and keep it simple, you know? Okay, um, I turned my game volume down a tiny bit because these things are so loud. Wait, how many? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we need four more. Oh, four more rows of platforms. So I will be right back while I do this so that you don't have to watch the boring stuff. Okay, so we're done placing our foundations and we have kind of a thing going on over here, just like the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, perfect. And I believe that these uh, refineries, this is going to be kind of spread out, but that's fine. These refineries are right up to the edge of this one. Maybe it'll let, uh, let us know when they're kind of, uh, what's the word, kind of lined up. Production refinery. There we go. Wait, it's not telling us that it's lined up anymore. Is it really over here? There's no way. Like that. Okay. I can't see the lined up line. Uh, I think. There needs to be a little left to be lined up. Like that. Cause you'll see that the box for it, um, if we're placing another one, it goes right up to the edge of the gray. And I believe this one's the same way. Yeah. <coughs> per per sorry, excuse me. Perfect. Let's go ahead and place uh, three more of these. Oh no, we don't have the materials. We're gonna have to go back really fast. Okay, we have to go back for more modular frames to make more of these anyways. So I will go ahead and drive back and be back and we can continue building. All right, once again, we are back over near our refineries and we have all the materials that we needed now so we can keep on building. I guess our main goal for today is to, I still wanna unlock the next thing which is pretty easy we'll basically have enough once we start making rubber and then I guess just making a lot of uh, 
maybe setting up refineries for uh, fuel. So when we do unlock uh, fuel generators, we already have a platform for that. That'd be pretty good. So let's uh, head over here. Trying to figure out where we, where we were at. I want to look at the recipe for these really quick. Yeah, we're good. I think we should go ahead and make a lot of these tanks so that we can store up as much um, stuff as we possibly can for the future. Because if we can save all of it, then we'll just have a lot of fuel and that would be fantastic. I mean, we'll be, we'll be able to make a lot of fuel. But honestly, we can basically already turn uh, the stuff into into fuel. We just have to set up. Uh, Refineries for that. Honestly, maybe that's enough for now. Then this stuff is full of plastic again. Maybe we should set up like a storage container thing. Somewhere before we uh, keep going, so these keep working. So I think the best way to do this, first of all, is to have this come out like this. If I remember right, <coughs> excuse me, if I remember right, these are like too high. What is it actually not? No, it is. bring this over here and then add some splitters I just realized how much I use uh, like a design like this basically on everything so far um hello why uh why can't I do that Oh, because it needs to be a merger. Oh, that's silly. Okay. That should be fine. Maybe we just go by and place all of these first. And then we'll work on using the next, uh, the next 120 oil extractor for making a rubber. And then we'll go from there. We have tons of uh, oil to play with. Like we have one more 120, uh, like well over here. I don't know if is well a good word for it, but also we have um, two 240s, which is kind of a lot to deal with, to be honest. This looks so cool already. So this should be a lot of plastic. And then we'll just set up some storage areas over here for all the plastic. Um, industrial storages? This could work. I 
And just to make sure it doesn't back up, we can place a few of these. Especially because in the future we might have more of these running. Who knows? Not me. So that should be running smooth now. Nice. Okay. So now we have basically unlimited plastic. How many per minute does it make? 20 per minute. That's pretty solid. Plus our pipes move 300 things, 300, up to 300 uh, cubic meters per minute. And we only have uh, 40 going in here right now. These aren't lined up. Well, good thing there was nothing in them, I guess. So we could have 30 uh, refineries hooked up to this pipe. Which is kind of an insane number. I kind of want to make this pipe shorter. This is too much. So I'm curious, is it possible to add uh, supports to pipes that already exist for looks? Yeah, I guess it just wouldn't do anything. Okay, I was just curious. Okay, that looks great. That looks weird. Then we already have almost 500 in here. I guess we're gonna offload our plastic into here too. Okay, I guess we start working on this side. That's exciting. And again, this is gonna be our rubber side. So we'll go ahead and select rubber and this. Wait, so this takes 60 heavy oil residue to make 40 fuel per minute. That's interesting. So it's like six, um, What was I going to say? Six refineries per one coal? I mean, one fuel refinery? I wonder how much fuel fuel generators take. If it's not very much, that'd be crazy, but... I guess we need to line these up. can't really see through these so I'm kind of guessing here I might have to replace these I guess there's one way to find out that one's fine seems fine well I think we did it perfect Wow. I'm impressed with myself. That was insane. Tipper. Oh, wait, no, that's fine. Um. Nine. I want to bring this over here. I feel like this is going to be a bit in the way. 
we can have a walkways though. We can just actually add some now. Um, it's not a big deal. Just so we have a ramp to go over it. How do I... Uh, what in the world? You know what? Whatever. That's fine. Is the flat... Will the flat one go over it? No. Oh, the lamp thing is in the way. Why does it keep going in the ground? It's so weird how it's trying to place it. Uh, hello. Sure, put it there. I'm just trying to make it easy to get around and I'm like being trolled. Okay. Let's figure out the export method for the rubber really quick and then we'll hook up the pipes and go from there. So I guess we just do the same thing. It's not really that complicated. We'll go like this. With the export facing out. The output. I could just say output. I guess that makes... I, I mean, I guess it means the same thing. I talked about this uh, in like my last video too. And maybe not my last one. I've talked about it before. Like export versus, versus output. Not an important topic. Oh no, is this gonna be in the way? Hmm. Yeah, it might be. For now, we can just get rid of it. It's whatever. We can just slide underneath it. And then we need one, like, right here. a bunch of mergers hopefully these all turn out pretty close to each other I mean like pretty close to where they need to be and it seems fine and we'll just make some of these I think these are lined up with uh, the back of the refinery, but I could be wrong. Oh yeah, no they are. So like... Here? And then we have a backward one. And then a backward one. Oh wait, we need power now. Dude, the autosave lag like freaks me out every time and I can't even explain why, it, it just does a little bit. Okay, this is looking fantastic. To be honest, this looks insane.
I wonder if all these fill up the same or if they like all fill up to the last one. Wow, we have a lot of stuff in these already. It's like a quarter full. Kind of. Okay, so I guess now we need to go ahead and hook these up. So I believe, like the other side, we're just going to have one pipe. So we might as well just get the, uh, might as well just get the pipe set up here. I think that's mostly set up correctly. That looks like the right place. But we'll find out. Okay, it looks like everything is straight. Only straight pipes from here that I can see. Perfect. And then we need one of these. And one of these. I think this should be a little further back. And now we have to figure out which one our 120 pipe is. And I believe it's that one over there. So we just head over there really fast. Also, I learned that this happens when you like try and slide in the water. It's kind of weird to me. But I mean, what are you going to do about it, you know? It's just the way it is. Hello, this is the 121? Yes, it is. We can make this pipe uh, a little nicer later. Right now I'm more worried about getting it all hooked up. So we can unlock our manufacturer and unlock our, uh, what's it called? Wait, what is it called? I feel uh, like I can't think of words. Our manufacturer and our, I don't know, the next thing so that we can work on getting oil manufacture, not oil manufacturers, oil, fuel generators. Dude, my brain. Anyways, I want to get the next thing unlocked so we can work on fuel generators. But that's two unlocks away, so it's a work in progress. going straight across hmm kind of seems like it that's fine We're just gonna just do this and everything should start working. Everything should uh, start working. It might take a while. Oh, that pipe is kinda long. Oh, it's working. Like a, a bit of a ladder so we can get back up.
I think I want to go ahead and make a few more tanks. I know the tanks that we unlock soon are way better. When we get, like, the oil refinery, we get, um... Wait, not refinery. I keep getting them mixed up. The fuel generators, we get better, uh, tanks. But for now, I think we're gonna need, uh... More of these. And I probably won't replace them later, but we can add different ones later. So just for the sake of uh, holding our stuff. Wait, we should, instead of adding this, we should make a thing that's turning all of this into fuel. Right? Yeah, we should be doing that. We can add that over here. By a thing, I just mean like an area. But we can only have one turning them into fuel for now, so it is still good that we have buffers. No, we can have two, but one's gonna be like running at like 50%, because we have eight, and it takes six, 60 crude oil residue per minute to make 40 fuel per minute, I believe. So right now we have eight, so it'll actually be running at 30%. One of them, and one of them will be running at 100%. Let's see here. Refinery, please. Wait, should we add another tank to this? Maybe we should add a few more tanks. And then the other thing. Okay, let's do that. Just a few. Maybe two rows. I think it never hurts. To be a little bit careful. Also, it might be a good idea for us to go ahead and make sure that our rubber is actually being made because that would be uh, bad if it wasn't not bad just not the best so let's go check on that really fast Okay, cool. Wait, how many rubber per minute do we make? This is the wrong one, first of all. Let's... We make... 20 rubber per minute. I believe the rates for plastic were the same. Making sure they all have the right setting because that one was off. Honestly, this looks so cool already. Let's have one more row just so uh, these are facing toward the back of everything. And then our refineries can face the same way as all the other ones. actually a lot of tanks but I still think it's fine because there'll be a lot like ending up being stored pipes on this side so big but it looks kind of cool to me so I'm gonna keep it what do these look like on the top I've never been up here 
That's a lot of tanks. That's 400 times like what? Like 4 times 4 and 16 times 400. Not a bad amount of storage. Making sure they're all connected. They're not. There we go. Why isn't this one getting any? There it is. Okay, it's just slow. We're fine. Oh no, we ran out of concrete. Which is also not that bad. Because I don't think we need concrete really for anything. Other than building uh, platforms, actually. Wait, do we need concrete for uh, these? Mm, we do. Wait, no, these. Well, we do. We have two concrete. Is that a joke? not a very good joke. Dang it. I was hoping I wouldn't have to drive all the way back right now. But I guess we do. Okay, so I was looking at this really quick because I went ahead and brought plastic and rubber over here so we could get done with this milestone and unlock the manufacturer. Um, so yeah, we have to get this. Then we have to get this one. Wait, no we don't. We can go directly. But we do want the industrial fluid buffer. I thought this was on the, the fuel generator one. But we do want to get this one. After we get the manufacturer, we can easily get uh, 25 heavy modular frames. But then next after that, we want to get uh, expanded power infrastructure. Because we need to get 100 computers after that. And we get computers unlocked from the one that we're unlocking right now. So that's pretty cool. We're not gonna probably worry about that today because we wanna keep building the things we're building. For this video. Milestone reached. The manufacturer increases production complexity. A critical look at production line logistics and efficiency is recommended during integration. The truck allows for increased efficiency in transportation, automated or otherwise. New project parts enable progress to the next phase. Okay, that's cool. So we can't make, uh, we're gonna have to make heavy modular frames by hand, I guess. At least at first, it seems like. Until we get our first manufacturer made. Oh wait, our car's over here. I forgot. Okay, so uh, let's go back to building our fuel. And next video, we're, we'll deal with the uh, the uh, manufacturer and getting all that figured out and unlocking hopefully the next two things so that we can get fuel uh, generators to be working for us once we have more stuff set up over there because that would be pretty cool. So, yeah, let me get back over there. Okay, so we're back with a bunch of materials. I think this place looks amazing right now. Like, just driving up to it feels so cool now. Okay, so let's head over here so we can start uh, producing fuel. I think my favorite part about this entire, like, thing with the refineries is you don't need to use like the oil the crude oil to make fuel like directly like you don't have to like you can use your refineries for items and then fuel and I think that's really good because then you don't have to like set up two uh, refinery bases like I thought we were gonna have to so that's really neat I like that a lot 
So we only need two of these right now, but we're gonna need more in the future. But for now, we'll, we're only gonna place two. I think. And then we can go ahead and place junctions. Um, here. Seems lined up. And like here. No, not there. That'll do, that'll do. Um. Oh, I went the wrong way. I think we can get back up by jumping on this pipe. Easy peasy. Uh, what I meant to do was push nine. Oh, these need power. Dang, this platform ended up so much quicker than what it was already. That's crazy. Okay, we can probably just take power from this one, right? There we go. Probably put it like right here. We only need to power these two right now. And then we have to figure out where to put storage for fuel. I think for now we can just put it somewhere. Oh, you can make, okay, so if you make if you make fuel out of crude oil, it takes just as much. But then you get plastic bits. But we're not doing it like that, so we just want this. Why is it just idle still? It's powered. It should have an input. Oh, this is getting inputs. Oh, did I not hook it up? Okay, we can't run that way because I put them so close together, but that's fine. There we go. Now we have more incredibly loud machines. And we're gonna need like a storage spot for now for all of our fuel because we can't use it yet. I was thinking over here, and then once we get our bigger fuel tanks, we can just, or our fluid tanks, our bigger fluid tanks, that we should get soon, we can just uh, pile them all over here. I just had to move that power pole so it was in the way. But yeah, I think putting all of our uh, kind of like fuel storage over here could be really good. So I don't think we have the materials to make a lot of them, but we can make, oh no, we can make a lot of them. I guess we want them to go this way. Wait, do I want that? No, okay, this is how I want to do it. For now, because we have to use these. So that we can start making fuel and keep this process going so we keep making items. Let's put the input right here. Oh, 
way this isn't gonna work. Okay, well we're not gonna make very much before we can upgrade. So maybe we just put a few down and just call it good. Maybe that's what we could do. Hmm. But what if we end up making a lot? Okay, this is a this is a good idea. So this will be like our mini fuel storage, and then as we make more, we'll make a better one. No, this will work fine. This will work fine. So then we just connect them all up to each other. Wait, why are these so close together? Oh, I misplaced them. Okay, that seems better. This needs to be an input right here. It'll be input output. And this might be this might end up just being temporary. Who knows? I guess it depends on how much fuel we produce and how much we use and how much we need to store. to do. That's so weird. Okay, so I think the best way to do this right now is to place these here. Sideways, don't like that. <laughs> oh no, that was an accident. That looks about right. Perfect. Uh, for now, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have a turn here until we have more uh, generators. I mean, not generators. Refineries making fuel. Just so we can easily keep everything kind of under control. that work? Or is that where it was? I guess that would have to work. Okay. Now these should start filling up a little bit, very slowly. Oh wait, 
I didn't connect it. Whoops. Okay, these will start working again. Those should start filling up. Also, we should be getting a lot of like uh, actual items too. Wow, we have a lot of this stuff already. Let's see how many items we have. Kind of a lot over there. And I think we'll have way more plastic. Yeah, like double. Because we had it set up first. Okay, so I think we did basically everything that we could do without uh, upgrading first because then we're going to get bigger tanks. We're going to... Well, we are going to expand these because we have 480 more crude oil per minute to play with. But we're going to need to get a lot more items and stuff. We might end up building that next video or we might end up getting... No, actually, we'll probably end up building that next video. So if you're interested in that, please consider subscribing so you get notified when that comes out. And thank you for watching this video. Yep. Bye-bye. <laughs>